So in this video we're going to look at the basics of uh, ascent and descent. So to ascend the ropes on the working line you typically would need a hand ascender with a foot loop and then your main attachment point would be your chest ascender. And the key here is to try and use the bigger leg muscles as much as possible and your arms are there mainly for stability. So it's just steady progression using the leg muscles alternating by weighting the hand ascender and then the chest ascender. To change from ascent to descent we need to attach before detaching. So here we're popping the descent device below the ascending device and we try and minimize the gap between the two as much as possible as the plan is to stand up to de-weight chest ascender, release from the rope and gently sit down onto our descender. Now we're in descent, we can tidy away the hand ascender and foot loop and when descending should always have control of the tail rope. Normally placing the rope over a friction plate for a bit of extra control. Hand down by the hip is always good. So if we come across any tangles, knots, or potentially even the end of the rope, you will feel it before it got to the descender. And now for short climbs with the descender, and these would only be for short climbs, we would reattach the hand ascender and then coordinate punching upwards as we stand up. Uh, so we're basically pulling the rope through the descent device. Some descenders, you will need to open the handle, make sure they're open, uh, or the lock device, make sure it's unlocked. With this particular device, you can ascend on the descender with uh, the handle in the lock position. Now changing from descent to ascent, we would need the foot loop and hand ascender again so that we can stand up and place the chest ascender above the descender. It's a good idea to hold the rope and place the rope into the device rather than trying to put the device onto the rope for this one and it's good to prepare the chest ascender beforehand by opening uh, the device ready. The descender can then come off as we're in our ascent gear. Now descending on ascent devices, a tip here is to move the, the working line that the ascent device is on over to the left hand side uh, of yourself. This keeps the rope away from the teeth and allows the, uh, the descent to be a bit smoother. So for this technique, it's not activating the double action of the ascender. So it's just pushing the cam in gently to leave enough room for the rope to run through the device without releasing the second safety catch. And you can do a similar thing with the hand ascender.